got very much caught out on the end of that one, but you can see it's roughly aged to you. Let's hope I don't need to split these videos up. Uh, right, so the next bit's about skewness. Um, so if it's symmetrical, these, this is like Q3 minus Q2. So that, I think it's, it's wrong, written the wrong way around, really, to what the picture says. So I think you should have these the other way around. Because it makes more sense that the Q2 minus Q1 is this part, and the Q3 minus Q2 is this part. Anyway, it's all nice and symmetric. On the histogram, it looks all nice. Um, so if it's negatively skewed, you have more data at the bottom. So if you look, your distance from the minimum to the median is massive, and the down up here is quite small. There. So the median is closer to. Oh, got the wrong way around. Is it more at the top? Because that's more spread out, isn't it, at the bottom? So say you had like 20 items. I've got 10 spread out in that big chunk, and I've got 10 spread out in that little chunk. So everything's pushed more up towards the top. Put it the around. So then looking at the other one, I've got more data down near the bottom. Now what's quite interesting, people get confused between what's negative and positive skew in terms of a picture. If you imagine this one looks like a P that's fallen over. If the, so imagine it just looks like a P that's fallen backwards. So that's quite a nice way to look at it. Some consolidation questions now. So, work on that. Right, I'm going now. Bye-bye.